welcome to Be Encouraged today. My name is Andrew Byron and it's a pleasure to have you online today. I'm excited to share the Word of God with you. Are you excited? Are you excited to know that God is with you and God is for you? I don't know how what your week was like. I don't know how your day is. I don't know what you're going through right now. But one thing for sure, God has a specific word for you right now, a specific word that's going to lift you up. There's a specific word that's going to transform you because <clears throat> you can't listen to the word of God and be the same because God is in the move of transform transformation. Amen. If you're following us on our social media, thank you for so your support and encouragement. If you're not following us, I really encourage you to follow us on social media so that we can be a blessing to you on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. We are there to serve you. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we just thank you for this day. We thank you for this moment that you have given to us. Holy Spirit, let your light shine in your children's life, your sons and daughters that need to hear the word of God. And they step up and step forward into the things that you're calling them to do. May you allow the word of God through your Holy Spirit to transform their life. Spirit of the living God, may you enlighten their eyes. May you enlighten their spirit to receive all that you have, Father, for them. Hallelujah. Amen and amen, amen. Today we are looking at the subject of does God recognize you does god recognize you i know this this question seem, might seem very simple the question might seem like very very menial but it has a deeper context to it it has a deeper meaning to it it's a deeper revelation to it regarding does god recognize you If you look at the Bible, we are going to be looking at the Bible. We're going to be looking at an Old Testament story where Adam and Eve, where we can learn from them. It's a story of recognition. It's a story where God gets to the bottom of it. It's a story where God cuts to the heart. It's a story that goes beyond your surface level. Maybe you may have friends that you say, hello, how are you? They say, we are fine, we are blessed, highly favored, that you carry on. But that is a surface level. There's nothing wrong with it, but that is a surface level. But God is taking you from glory to glory today. God is taking you from glory to glory into the things that God has prepared, the things that God has ordained for you and for your life. And this question, does God recognize you? Let's turn with me to in the Bible, to Genesis chapter 3. We're going to be looking at three verses and we're going to be unpacking that from there. Three verses. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It says, then the Lord God called to Adam and said to him, where are you? And he said, I heard your voice in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked and hid myself. And verse 11 says, and he said, who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree which I commanded you that you should not? And if you look at Genesis chapter 2 verses 25, it says, and they were both naked, and the man and the wife and his wife, and were not ashamed. That is a key right there. It says, and they were both naked, the man and his wife were not ashamed. I want to ask you this question, where are you at in your life? Where are you at in your own life? Have you thought about that question? Maybe you are saying, Andrew, I should be further in my life. 
I should be further in my finances. I should be further in my career. I should be further in my marriage. I should be further in the things that God has called me to do. Today, God is asking you a question. Where are you? Maybe you're living in regret. Maybe you're living in setback. Maybe you're living in shame. Maybe you're living in condemnation. Maybe you're living in guilt. Where is your heart? Because out of the abundance of the heart, mouth, heart, the mouth speaks. And the Bible says all issues of life flow from within your heart. Flow from within your heart. The first thing that I, I want to I th share three things with you. The first one is awareness, acceptance, adjustment. Awareness, acceptance, adjustment. Awareness. In this question, it says, where are you? Where are you? Because if you think about it, Genesis chapter 2 verses 25, 25 says, And they were both naked, and the man and his wife were not ashamed. In this story, Jesus, God, is asking Adam and Eve a question. Where are you? The first A is called awareness. Are you aware of where you are at in life? Are you really aware? Uh, aware of yourself, where you are at in life? The moment that you recognize where you are at in life is the moment that God can deal with you. Is the moment that God can go directly with you. Is the moment that God can deal with your heart. Because we can all play games, we can all play Christianity, we can all play these religious things of this world. But until you are aware of yourself, can you come to God? This question, awareness. How is your heart really doing right now today? Is it hurting? Is it weeping? Is it in shame? Because we try to cover up. We try to cover up. We try to be religious. We try to do all these things before God. But God sees your whole true self. God sees your whole honest self. God sees who you really are. How long will you go about playing games with God? How long will you go pretending that you are in a relationship with Jesus? How long will you go unchecking your heart? How long, how long, how long? How long? God is seeking you even when you are not seeking God. Awareness. The situation, the circumstances may be difficult for you right now. The challenges that you are facing might be difficult right now. The darkness that you are in might be difficult right now. Your awareness of who God is and what God can do through your life can change your life. The perspective of the reality that you are in, the truth of the reality that you are in, when God spoke to Adam, he asked this question, Where are you? And today, God is asking you that question. Where are you, my son? Where are you, my daughter? Where are you? Are you hiding? Are you running away? Are you saying to God, I do not want anything to deal with you anymore? I don't want to do with Jesus anymore. I'm done with my faith. I'm ashamed of my decision that I made yesterday. I'm ashamed of my confused self. I'm ashamed of the disappointed self. I'm ashamed of the angry self. I'm ashamed of the nakedness. You know, when you were born, you came to this world naked. Somebody had to clothe you. 
somebody had to clothe you sometimes we hide this nakedness we think god we wear these suits we wear nice clothes nothing wrong with that but beneath the surface what is going on in your world right now the bible says in psalms 139 before a word is on your mouth god already knows it he already knows it yet he waits for you why why does god wait for you because he loves you and this question my son my daughter he says verse 10 says is interesting he said adam says to god i heard your voice in the garden and i was afraid i was naked and i hid myself we tried to cover our life with these fig leaves but if you think about it verse chapter 2 verse 25 says and they were both naked the man and his wife and they were not ashamed ashamed so this this is interesting adam is trying to cover up are you trying to play cover up games with god today are you trying to cover up are you trying to cover up your sin are you trying to cover up the things that nobody else knows about are you trying to cover up cover up cover up cover up the bible says in in john john 4:24 says those who worship must worship in truth and in spirit spirit and truth in this story adam tried to cover up cover up his fear cover up his anger cover up his disappointed himself because he knew what he was meant to do in that moment he was walking and talking with god in the cool of the garden and he was hearing god's voice he was hearing god's voice throughout his time but verse 10 says when god came looking for him imagine do you think god didn't know where adam was that god needed some help he actually wanted him to be aware of himself more than anything else this question when jesus god asked adam where are you is a question of awareness awareness do you know who you really are are you aware of the things that you're doing the destruction things the destructive behavior the things that you're doing right now to destroy your life are you aware of it because god wants to redeem your life god wants to restore your life god wants to take you to a new level with you god wants to showcase what he can do in and through his life if god can do it for adam and eve he can do it for you he can do it for you he really can because god is no man's respecter because god can do the impossible things that you're believing for is incredible this question of awareness the moment that you are aware that you need god is the moment that god comes running to you is the moment that god comes running to you because why because god is having a conversation with adam but he was so ashamed of himself that he doesn't want to communicate with god anymore maybe you're in a place right now that you stopped communicating with god because of your shame god would rather have your whole self the honest self the shame self the confused self that disappointed self the anger self that not have you at all i'm telling you this revelation is setting someone free this revelation is some putting faith back into you this revelation is giving you hope again this revelation is giving you the strength for you, you need this revelation is shifting you to a newer level in Christ is first a is awareness awareness are you aware of your heart's condition all issues of life flow from within your heart How is your heart doing? How is your heart doing? 
Is it whole? Is it at peace? Is it joyful? Is it hopeful? Is it patient? Only you know how your heart is. Because God wants to give you a wonderful heart, a soft heart. A heart that will long for what God has for you. My daughter, my son, God wants you, your whole self. Not the fake self. You can camouflage your whole entire life. Camouflage. It's like you're in the army. You put on these clothes like, like creatures, like in animals. They camouflage in the nature, trying to hide from the predators. But if you're wanting to do that the whole life, God will leave you to it until you come to your realization, awareness of who God is and what God can do in and through your life. The second A is acceptance. Acceptance. I know it's difficult. This revelation is very, very difficult at times to comprehend. Acceptance. And verse 11 says, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree which I commanded you that you should not? Your acceptance. Many of you have accepted the reality of where you are to be permanent. Let me repeat that if you didn't catch it. Many of you have accepted the reality of where you are as permanent. Acceptance. The second day is acceptance. The situation, the circumstances that you're in, have you accepted it as to be the permanent solution, permanent, permanent place where you believe God can't intervene any longer? You believe that God cannot come into that place any longer. In the story, verse 11 says, and he said, who told you that you were naked? Have you been listening to the wrong voices in your life right now? The devil is a liar. He will tell you lies and lies and lies to keep you from your God-given destiny, to keep you from your God-given purpose, to keep you from the things that God has called you to do. Have you accepted? You might be saying, I have accepted the reality, that whatever the reality is to be permanent, you're put saying to your mind, God cannot intervene anymore. God cannot answer my prayer anymore. God cannot come into the situation because I know the situation that I'm in is permanent. It's a lie. It is a lie because the Bible says with God, all things are possible. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. God is not shy of your problems. God is not shy of your troubles. God is not shy of the things that you've done until you ask him to come in and intervene in your life. Are you ready for God to come and intervene in your life? Are you ready for God to see your whole self? Are you ready to say, Lord, I take my Christian life seriously. I'm not playing games because we can play games on social media. We can play games with our life. We can play games with our time. We can play games throughout the entire life. But this story where God comes looking for Adam and he, the first question he asked is, where are you? Where are you? My son, my daughter, I'm begging you. I'm begging you that God will come and meet with you today. I'm begging you that you will allow your life to be placed under Christ. I'm begging you that you will allow your whole self to see who Jesus is, to invite him into your life and say, here's my naked self. I have nothing to hide anymore, God. I have nothing to hide. I'm st I'm, I stop running now, Lord. I stop running. Enough of running. 
running 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 from problems running from people running from situation running from circumstances when will you stop when will you stop that's what adam was doing adam and eve were doing they were running they knew what they had done but the as i said earlier they were both naked before but then he says to god i was hiding because i was naked that is the human nature the human nature is to hide to hide our faults to hide our inadequacies to hide our failures to hide our discrepancies to hide the things that are going on in our heart open your heart to god he already knows who you really are how long can you hide how long will you run how long will you keep your heart maybe you're not happy in life right now talk to god talk tell him i'm unhappy i don't have any joy i don't have any peace talk to god because god is not afraid of you we think we god is going to punish us when we come to him no no the last a is adjustment adjustment is there some adjustment that you need to make in your life right now is there some changes that you need to bring in your life maybe you have tried to bring change in your life it's been so difficult maybe you're facing an addiction maybe you're facing a situation that seems so overwhelming you're stressed you're anxious anxious you're wondering does god really care is god in this i want to tell you make small adjustments in your life your first adjustment i suggest to you is to invite god into your nakedness invite god into the hidden parts of your life invite god into the things that you're processing where it seems like you have no idea how you're going to go through it invite god invite god the bible says in matthew 11:28 come to me all who are heavy laden i will give you rest my yoke is easy my burden is light when you go to god god is not going to add any more burden to your life he's not going to add any more uh, stress to your life he's not going to add any more guilt to your life he's not going to add any more shame to your life no he says he's ready to remove it who told you that you were naked who who's telling you that today allow the grace of god to cover you up allow the mercy of god to lift you up allow the love of god to transform you from inside out inside out because god is ready for you are you ready for him are you really ready for him The question that I want to ask you is are you ready for him? Because God wants to take you from glory to glory. The Bible says for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. For the wages of sin is death, but gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. The first A is awareness. Are you aware of your heart? Where you are at in life? the second day acceptance accept that you need jesus accept that you can go to god with your naked self accept that god wants the confused self the disappointed self the angry self just as you are come as you are come as you are but don't stay as you are don't stay as you are go from glory to glory keep growing in the things of god keep growing in the things that god has for you the last a is accept adjustments can you make minor adjustments in your life with the grace of god to read the bible again to believe again to have faith again to turn your life around because god is ready to change you honestly god is ready to change you and take you from glory to glory i beg you for you to give your heart to God to open your heart to God again to allow the spirit of God the holy spirit is ministering to you right now wherever you are watching this from 
We are on all platforms today, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. May God lift you up. May God take you from glory to glory. May God push you forward into the things that he has called you. Not for you to stay the same. No, for you to keep on moving forward into the things of God. I hope there was a blessing to you. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, under the voice of my, under the voice that I'm about to speak. May your Holy Spirit speak to every child, every son and daughter. I break shame off their life in the name of Jesus. Make them aware of your presence more than the situation that they are in. Help them to accept your grace. Help them to accept your mercy. Remove every guilt and shame out of their life in the name of Jesus. That you will give them double honor for their shame. Father, help them to make adjustments in their life. Father, to give them strength. Father, to keep on moving forward because that the best is 